so if we needed to have six thousand dollars for our down payment can we reach our goal with any of those accounts as they were stated and if we look back we can see five thousand seven hundred thirty six no they're not nearly six thousand so the answer for the first question is no none of the banks paid enough interest I'll just say they didn't pay enough interest okay if we are short which we were how much would we have had to invest in each account to get six thousand at the end of five and a half years so what we're just saying now is we want our F to be 6,000 and we're using the same values for everything else but we want to recalculate and figure out what our, our starting balance has to be to end up with the 6,000. So for the first scenario we have P, uh, we're not going to use the P and then we're just going to use the 0.025 and the five years so we'll have the P is what we're searching for. The R is still going to be 0 0.025. The N is still going to be 1. And the T is still going to be 5. And we want to plug all that in and see what we get. So 6,000 equals P times the quantity 1 plus R, so 0 0.025 over N, which was 1 n again and then t so 1 times 5 is just 5 so I've got that one um, 1.025 divided by 1 is just 0 0.025 and plus 1 is going to be 1.025 I'm doing as much as I can in my head because it's quicker than the calculator so once I get to this point I need to take that 1.025 raised to the fifth power so I'll use this 1.025 and there's my 2 the button to the fifth power and there's my value and remember what I want to do is divide both sides by that and that's a 1.1314 and on and on and remember it's the same thing as multiplying by 1 over that value 1.1314 and so on so I'm put, just putting dot 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 to signify it goes on and on and remember we can convert that 1.1314 to 1 over it by using our inverse button which in this on this calculator is the 1 over x so if I push that that 0.88 that's the value of this little fraction right here this is the 0.88 and on and on so I just need to multiply that by the 6,000 so I'll have P because these are going to cancel here P equals and then I remember multiply by 6,000 and I have 5,303 dollars and 13 cents it looks like if I round properly so I need to start off with five thousand three hundred three dollars and thirteen cents if I'm going to use account one so this we maybe put a note account one